back to another video um in today's video we're gonna be doing an am pro mod guide um uh, simple simple little simple little mod guide uh mod guide dare i say uh first thing you want to do take apart your little, your little, your little am pro your little, your little, your little baby am pro um then you want to remove the barrel there's supposed to be a screw right there you want to go ahead and remove that thing First thing you want to do to stop barrel twist and get like a 1% more seal really is to go ahead and slap some electrical tape right around there right at, right at this exact spot I have mine up it will come from right here you just pull pull this piece out and slap some electrical tape and your barrel will stop doing the side to side thing so it should stay centered and shouldn't hurt your accuracy at all or if you really want to go crazy, you can go ahead and slap an O-ring in, in, in the freaking middle of this thing and then put tape around it if you're really, 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 really concerned about your AM Pro twisting. Barrel twisting, I suppose. Well, actually, I guess I'll go ahead and slap a um, little O-ring on there just to keep the tape down. Okay, boom. That should keep the tape down. Nice and sealed in its spot. So, boom. Pretty solid, pretty easy, e easy little mod. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is um, you can actually get some freaking barrel and it'll seal perfectly and so satisfyingly right around this uh, O-ring. I mean, it seals so, so, so well. Right around the O-ring. I, I just, I just want to show you that. It was so satisfying. Um, besides that, we need to do some spring upgrades. So, let's go ahead and do some spring upgrades. You're gonna, go, you're gonna wanna go ahead, take out your big, big old plunger tube. Take out your plunger tube. Save that spring. You're gonna, you're gonna need it. I, I got mine uh, a little bit stiffer. That's the only spring I, I, I could find because I, I actually lost the um, original spring, so I had to find one that was a little bit stiffer. Still works. Uh, here's your plunger tube. Mine is modded. It's hit 200 FPS. That silver coil is gonna be your coil. The bronze coil is from a Adventure Force spring fire. It's pretty cool. Um, you, I, you can, uh, really put a lot of springs in this thing. Um, I have a lot of springs, so, I mean, I, I want to test a few of them right now, actually. I literally have a box of springs, and I'm taking these springs and putting them inside of my Aeon. And caught. Let's catch. Wow, well, there's your, your your catch there. These springs, like these type of springs, work too. They, they don't have to be as wide, but if you want the best compression, best smoothest performance, all that crap, you're gonna want to use a wider spring. Uh, I'm not saying you need a spring upgrade if the prime is too strong. You, if the prime is too strong. All you gotta do is take some wire cutter and cut at least a coil or two off your spring. That should decrease your FPS a little bit if the prime is a little bit too strong for you. Maybe a little bit older. I mean, maybe you may be a little bit younger. Or you just want to, you know, weak your prime. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and slap that in there. And then this clear piece, you can go right behind it. You don't want to put that in there too. Okay, after enough interruption, we are back. So, um, next... Um, this is optional. Um, this is a piece. Um, this is a piece that um, it it um, w when a dart goes through, it it squishes the dart, which basically makes that dart be more accurate. And it, right, right before it ends, it squishes the dart basically. So it just tightens up tightens up that grouping a little bit. Um, so it's all around basically an accuracy increase. So what I did was I took off um, the middle piece that went uh, here. Just snatch that off, and you attach it here. It's, it's meant to go here, and it slides on there. And then your barrel, when you put in the barrel, it will slide in it. See, see it there? That that's it. It's it's on the side. I mean, it's all orange, so you can't see it too well. But then it goes in there, and it sits. So straight from the barrel, straight into a piece of plastic that tightens it up. It's so so smooth too. You, you can barely even tell, like. So, that's going to be an accuracy improvement, which is going to be super cool. And I got multiple of them. I, I have an elongated version, basically a suppressor, and then I got an elongated with barrel. That will that'll slide on, too. But mainly, we're just going for accuracy. Not, not a lot of barrel drag. 
So, uh, here's the catch. Catch looks normal. Here's the plunger. Plunger right here. Um, if you have some lubricant, I'd put some lubricant up here and lubricant in these two O-rings here and also some lubricant right here. So that should get you, you know, a smooth working blaster, good bit of seal, and also some lubricant on the O-ring of the um, plunger rod thingy. And then you should have a just fine lubricant guide, I guess. Next, you would like to put your plunger tube back. So simply, you, you, you'll you totally know how to do this. It, it basically shows you how. And then you want to put your spring back, your spring that you used for the thingy thingy. You just, I, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like. People who don't know. Here's your internals. Take your catch, your catch up here. This isn't, this isn't the best POV, but I'm trying to keep it all in one spot. I have a buffed up trigger spring, spring by the way. It's stiffer. I like stiff triggers. Okay. And I painted some parts of gold and crap. Yeah, actually, you can still see all, all, all that gold, too. It's crazy good. Okay, make sure your catch is in place. You, you can pull your trigger a few times. Make sure your trigger pulls fine. You don't need your safety, but if you want your safety, just put it back in. You, you, you should know how. It's pretty easy. Okay, then we're going to put on our little piece here. There we go. And it has a little bit of a spinny scar part before it hits it. So it's it's gonna it's gonna go through this barrel. It's gonna spin super fast. It's gonna shing and then it's gonna doom. So doosing, 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 doosing. and it can, it's only only limited to shoot sword darts because their head is actually smaller than their foam part. So it's only limited to shoot adventure force sword darts, worker darts, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this thing back. Back, 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 you know what we need to do? I didn't. I didn't push this in all, all the way. I didn't push it in all the way. That's that. That's why it didn't go straight in. It's supposed to go straight in, but there there was like this much of um leftover space. So I gotta push it. Just just to hold up. Just like the instructions told me. It is now all the way in. Now, we should have a perfectly clear and clean, there we go, and then, okay, and fits, perfect, 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 okay, now, you're going to want to take one of your screws, and you're going to want to put your screw back in the front where it came before, aka, you're going to want to put a screw here. And you're gonna to want to take your O-ring thingy, and you're gonna to want to slide it up into here, where it seals and it fits just fine. Now you can put tape on that O-ring, but it's not mandatory at all. You do not need it. You do not need that tape on on any any basically any part of the plastic. Now I'm gonna put our catch back because the catch fell off again. Catch not fell off. Okay, once you have your entire internals looking as slick and clean as mine, with the stuff up front, you got a buffed up spring, and you you basically, yeah. So we, we stopped barrel slip, and we gave the barrel a little bit of a better seal, upgraded our spring if you, if you upgraded your spring, got mine's a little bit more accurate. Uh, this is also a good guide if you need, need to know how to put yours back together. That works too. So if if you can't find a way to put your Aaron Pro back together, come back to this vi video, and you know, it's the same exact video. Nothing's gonna change. So everything you need will be in this video. Now I would recommend like taking a towel, kind of wiping off your hands and stuff, because you got a little bit of grease on it, and wiping off the Aeon Pro itself, because it's gonna have grease on it. You're you're gonna have grease on your Aeon one way or another. Okay, then you're going to want to put your body, and your body of the Aeon Pro is going to simply just slap onto the other side, and then boom. No clips, no nothing, just, just screws. And you're going to put in your important screws first. Boom. Okay, we're putting in all our screws now. So, do this with me. Put in all your screws. 
all your needed screws, all of your screws. You want to screw in every single screw port. And also, if you're going to take apart any sort of blaster, you're going to want to make sure you always have your screws in a safe place. Where they won't get lost, maybe on a magnet or something like that. Put them in a pretty, pretty safe area. And if you do not have a lot of screws, put them into the important parts where I will show you which parts are the most important for putting your screws in. Just a second. Where you're going to need a screw here and you're going to need a screw here. So, before I put in all my screws, I'll show you where. Okay. On the body, you will need one here. Need one here. Potentially one here. You're going to need this one. And you're going to need one up front. If you're going for the least screws for some reason. That's where you're going to need most of your screws at. Just want to go ahead and tell you that. So it's where you're going to need your screws. You're going to want to need them. Main screw on this thing you're going to want to need, I'm telling you, is this this one here. This keeps the whole body together. You're going to want to at least put two up front. So, where's our last one? Take our last screw and we're going to put it in. Almost one. I'm missing one screw. I don't I do not know what happened to that one screw. Our magazine re release, dude. We forgot the mag release. Holy crap. God dang it, dude. God dang it. Yeah, you're going to want to put in that. You're totally, totally going to want to put in that. God dang it. I forgot about the mag release, dude. How do you forget the mag release? Out of all pieces, you forget the mag release, dude? The mag release. Mag release, dude. Oh my gosh. How do you miss the mag release? Literally the mag release. I gotta take part just about the whole thing. Just to put in a stupid mag release, dude. Do not... Do not not put in your mag release, please. You're gonna need it. You're going to need it. I don't care if you're using short darts only or something like that. You're gonna need it. Only way you're not gonna need it is if... You're just breach, like you're you're just priming it and, and inserting a dart instead instead of, of using magazines. That's the only possible way you would not need a mag release. It keeps your mag in place and it removes your mag whenever it needs to be removed. You you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. It's it's not something I'm gonna take this off to save weight. Nah, you 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 gonna need your mag release, boy. You are gonna need your mag release. And the mag release is like the most obvious part, so I don't even gotta show you that. It's like one of the easiest parts to put in. I mean, if you, if you don't know how to put in your mag release, just hit, hit, hit me up on Insta. Hit me up on Insta. I'll let you know when I have all these screws in. Another thing, a very important thing, if you want your blaster to even come close to priming, make sure this door is on this piece. That's the only, only way it's gonna be able to prime. And then the door slams shut together, and then boom. That's the only way it will be able to prime, so you're going to want to make sure that's there. I'm missing a few screws. What, what the heck, dude? Where, where did I put all these at? Oh, they're right there. Okay, no, never mind. I have all the screws. No, no. Crazy. Is there any more I'm missing? I don't, I don't think there's no more missing. I only like, had like five. Missing Oh, here. Boom. Wow. Lucky one. Lucky, lucky, lucky one. Okay, and then you won't gonna want to make sure you put in your grip. Your pistol grip simply slides in. The easiest part slides in here. And then take other pistol grip piece and it slides in there. And you put in your four screws or how many screws you have? I have three. So my next, my AM Pro actually did not come with the screw, with one screw on on its grip. It actually came. It did not come with um the bottom screw on its uh, pistol grip, which is kind of crazy. On this one right here, it, it it didn't come with one. I've never seen that happen. Literally, absolutely insane. I'm not mad though, but absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. That's good scam. Oh no, no. But I got scammed.
Mm. Look at that barrel. Wait, look at that. that. That's so wide, dude. What the heck? Put it on a scar. Well, not a scar, but tightening group thing. Group tightening thing. Oh, I forgot. It never fits well, so you have to put a piece of tape on it. That's right. Okay. This piece of tape. Slap on a piece of tape. And it should see in there. These, these things always need a piece of tape. I swear to God, bro. Oh, this is made by, by me, by, by me, uh, by the way. No one made this for me or nothing like that. It's literally made by me. A scar made by a boy. A supposed scar made by a boy. Not by your boy YouTube channel or something like that. It's made by me, your boy. I'm the boy. Your boy. I'm the boy, a.k.a. your boy. Ooh. I'm the boy, a.k.a. your boy. Every single day, because I love my occupation. <laughs> Boom. That's my AM Pro. Boom. Done. Just just like that. We're, 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 we're done. We're done with the whole mod guide tutorial thingy. That was super fast. Well, I guess if you enjoyed today's video, you could... You could like and subscribe if you really, really wanted to. I mean, I honestly think you think you should. So if you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe because you want to know why. There's, there's no reason to. I just kind of kind of want you to. Well, if you want to see more videos like this, you should totally hit the subscribe button. Just saying. Um, if you don't want to see videos like this, why are you watching this? But you know, you feel me. Um, I have nothing else to say. This, this is the, this is the end of the video. Like, there's nothing else to say. This is this is dry. Like. This is it. This is the end. This is all, all I've got your time for today. This is it. We're done, though. We're finished. We're cleaned out. We're done. We're, we're annihilated. We're astonished. We're bombished. We got bombed. Wait, what? No. That didn't make more sense. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. You insert your magazine. I'll show you. That mine does work. But it can only shoot short darts, and I only have a big mag in front of me. I only have a 50 cal mag in front of me. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to wash our hands. Uh, get, go get some hand sanitizer real quick. Wipe, wipe it. Okay, now that you got some hand sanitizer, you wiped off your hands. Wipe off your AM Pro one more time. Get on the grip, on the slide. There you go. You want to prime it? There you go. And I'm just, I'm just gonna breach load a dart on this one. And then we're gonna insert. Yep. And then fire. Clean. 200 FPS shots. Now, AI hey, Pro's dangerous going 200 FPS. Uh. It's really, 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 really dangerous going 200 FPS in Aeon Pro. But hey, I like it. I, it's, it's, it's fun to shoot. It's fun to shoot. So, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And um, if you do want more videos like this, like actually, uh, just comment below you want more videos like this. And I'll totally pop out some videos like flies. I'm telling you, I'll pop out videos in a millisecond. I'm telling you, dude. So, bye.